cookies. Hi everyone, my name is Lupita and welcome to the Cookie Couture where flavor and design collide. Today I'm going to share with you different ways how you can decorate mermaid cookies and this is a very very cute idea and I'm going to share with you how to make the full mermaid the mermaid tail so I hope that you really really like it and let's get started. These are the materials that I use to make these cookies. to decorate the cookies in three different ways okay one I'm gonna use the cookie as the skin color of the mermaid and in the other ones I'm gonna decorate it as the whole thing okay so let's get started for this one I am going to use a decorating tube number 1.5 with a royalizing in natural color Very well. In this one, as you can see, I'm going to put icing in all the face and the arm, okay? And I'm going to leave it aside. And for this one, I'm just going to put her little top. And also, I'm going to mark her hair and her little face. So it's just going to be all her hair is going to be here. And just her hand is going to come out out of her hair. Okay. okay, and then her face like that. This one, I'm going to do the same as the first one. Where I'm going to do her skin as in a different color.
have all the colors that I'm going to use for these beautiful mermaid cookies okay first I'm gonna start with this yellow that I use a natural color from Chef Master in color yellow the flesh tone from Chef Masters this one I just need to pop the bubbles then I use a turquoise from Americolor here ribbon pink from Chef Masters Watermelon from Americolor, electric green from Americolor. Okay. Now that our cookie is outlined, we're gonna start putting the floating icing. Okay, very well. I started with the pink, and then I am going to add a little bit of the turquoise. electric green in the bottom okay I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm going to continue with it okay I also make this tail in the same technique and I'm gonna let it dry to do the second part of it Meanwhile, I am going to make this one. For this one, I am just going to use teal color. Just about here and then I am going to add little lines of lime green okay, and then with a toothpick or something similar like this we're going to drag like this and then up and down also this part we can go just one way Okay, this is like a very simple way to simulate the scales on a mermaid. And I am going to add a little bit of silver sugar in the bottom of the tail. Okay, then for her little top, we're going to use the same technique like that and then we're going to drag it down, up and down. Okay, so now we're going to let it dry so we can continue doing her hair and all that fancy stuff. For this one, I'm just going to leave the cookie as the skin color, okay? So I am going to do the matching mermaid tape of each of the mermaids that I make, okay? So this one is going to be with the dragon colors.
the special sprinkle mix that I was telling you about since the beginning. It's a beautiful mix that I make for my daughter's birthday and I'm gonna put it on my mermaid. I am going to make the top of this mermaid blue. Now, this is one of the parts that I love about cookie decorating. They look so nice. dry the top a little bit and then I'm going to add the sprinkles on the top of this little mermaid. Also I made the matching fish tail that it looks super cool. Look at it. Looks so nice. And I put a little bit of watermelon color royal icing on her hair and I'm going to let it dry. scallops with the same icing that I use to outline the cookie and I'm just gonna make them in color white natural color icing actually Also going to make the little scales on the mermaid tail. I'm going to use this spray that I have been using some other cookies. If you click the link above, you can see something similar to these cookies that I use the same spray. To my flesh tone color icing, I add a little bit of ivory and a little bit more of flesh tone to make a darker tone of skin. Now we're gonna add the flesh color icing in a tanner color and we're gonna do the hands, okay, the arms, the torso and also her hair face. <laughs> her face and also we're gonna do her hair and I am going to make her hair in a darker brown and I am going to let it dry I am going to use a medium consistency icing to mark the hair and I'm going to do it just in white. But I really love how it looks with the spray so I'm going to use the spray to give that effect as well. You need to be very careful to add the spray when 
all your cookie is ready so you need to be very careful to not put that color on the spaces you don't want so I will recommend if you're gonna use this kind of technique you have to do it first or you have to do it before you flood the body so it doesn't go all the way okay I'm gonna try I am going to use this cookie to cover the face so I'm gonna do just a little bit okay it looks nice and the red it will look very pretty with the pink but I'm so scared For this mermaid, I am going to add a little bit of gold edible paint just to match the other that are very shiny and glittery. Gonna add a little bit gold. You know, little girls love everything shiny. I also like the effect of the pink spray did to this cookie so I'm going to add a little bit more pink to this so it matches the other set. Now we are ready for the final touches and I'm just going to use edible markers to make the faces. Channel, please do so. I hope that you really like this video, and I think so. See
see you next time guys thank you very much bye bye